Tower Hotel in St. George. We got two beds. We got a microwave, some coffee, a TV, a little mini refrigerator, a Bible, some pictures, and that's the view. It's looking pretty good. It's literally 30 degrees. We just got to the horse back riding. It's in this beautiful center. And we're starting to see people arrive. And we're about to start our three hour ride with these little guys. State Park. Pay ten dollars to come in here. We just finished lunch. Now we're climbing rocks in our horseback boots. riding gear and boots and we're sweating but it's been a good adventure so far. It's not too hot. It's probably 85. 85. Her grandma and grandpa are over there because uh, we're not making them climb this. No but it's very beautiful. If you don't want to go as far as I am, this is probably a good second place. One. We Man. just got our coffee, beans and brew. We're at a beautiful park in Salt Lake City. People walking around. There's the car coming. Social distancing, eating food, walking their dogs. life of a vlogger that guy just was like who is she talking to <laughs> but it's very green we're waiting to go get breakfast we are overlooking Salt Lake City with some snow they said it was snowing and raining and horrible weather the past week and we showed up and it's beautiful inside. Got some ice cream and cocoa. 10 out of 10. It's called Rockwell Old Fashioned Ice Cream. It's day three. We are walking in this magical wonderland. And we were driving through Provo Canyon. We decided to pull over. Pull over and walk and see the river a little bit. Didn't even know technically where we were. We just saw running water and wanted to come explore the little trail. Yep. We're being spontaneous as this trip is. So we just wanted to 
explore a little bit. There's people riding their bikes and on here. And a lot here. of pollen. A lot of pollen everywhere. It looks so beautiful. Oh, look, there's rope swinging. Look at oh. How fun. Yeah, I think this is a little place. Oh yeah, for sure. There's life jackets and everything where you little kids know, come tubing. to like do a camp. Yeah, and tubing. But it seems closed right now. Maybe because it's the week. We're not sure, but we're just exploring. And then the rest of the day we have to explore, go get some lunch with Larson's friend, lunch slash dinner, and that's about that. ourselves into but uh, we're driving through a forest right now <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous the roads just very thin so it's very scary because we can't see around the corner around the corner so we have to like literally stop every corner okay <laughs> like that and I'm eating these only had some oatmeal oh my god there's a car So now we are at a place called Soda Licious, and they serve a bunch of different types of sodas as the base, and they're like fun drinks. So I got the AK, I don't know, AK something, <laughs> the first one on the Dr. Pepper list. Yep, and then I got- And it's very good. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr. Pepper, vanilla, and coconut. coconut? Yeah. It's really good, it's smooth, not too powerful, it's perfect. And then I got, um, Castaway. Seven, yeah, it's, it's called the Castaway, but it's a 7-Up drink. Refreshing, very light, doesn't mean really, I mean it tastes like soda, but it It, it tastes like you, lime. It doesn't give you like that heaviness of a soda, so I really like it because I don't usually drink sodas, but it's really good and now we're just randomly driving around we're just driving around american fork we just passed larson's house to see where he used to live and we're just looking at all these cute little homes i also got a sugar cookie with icing pretty good not like amazing but it's good
never tasted canes. Seven out of ten. Eight out of ten. But because I have tasted canes, yeah. I'd say it goes down to a solid six. And they need to step out the toast game because this is not no Texas toast. The fries are good. I'm Fries are really good, yeah. Sauce is uh, not as creamy, but kind of similar. And we got some fried pickles. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. And they don't charge you for extra sauce, so I give Zach's Pizza A plus on that. Yeah. 